guys, it's Mousy, and today I'm going to be unboxing a very, very special uh, crate uh, that was sent to me by Japan Crate. I have been waiting for over a week to finally get to unbox the Doki Doki Crate. Um, I'm really sorry about my voice right now, guys. Um, I've had the flu for the past week, which is why I haven't gotten to unbox this yet. It's been staring at me, and I've wanted to open it all week long. But uh, if you're wondering why my voice sounds really, really bad, um, it's because I've had the flu, and I'm still dealing with the flu. Um, but this is actually the best my voice has been for about five days now, and I am so excited to be unboxing this. Uh, so if you want to get your own Doki Doki crate, uh, the link will be down in the description. I'm so excited to open this finally, so let's go ahead and get right on into it. All right, here we go. Wow, that sounds really horrible out of my mouth right now. Um, once again, I apologize. Oh my goodness, this looks like the cutest thing already. Look at this. Oh my gosh, this is so adorable. Like, this is for real. This is the May Doki Doki Crate. Um, their little magazine things are always so cute. All right, so one of the first things I see out of the box um, are these cookies. One of them's a little bit broken. They look like little Hello Kitty cookies. You can't really see the emblem all that well. Um, I'm not going to attempt to eat these because, A, I am allergic to wheat. And the last thing I want to do right now is make myself even sicker. Um, so definitely gonna not chance that but they do look really cool they have like little sprinkle sprinkler splink sprinkly kind of icing glitter on them that look really cute this says strawberry on them i really wish i could eat these now they actually look quite good but they're not even labeled properly so i don't even know if these are even safe for me to eat um so we're not gonna chance that um oh my gosh what on earth is this Oh my goodness, what is this? This is like one of the cutest little plushies I think I've ever seen. It's actually really, really soft. I can imagine my cat trying to take this. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Look at him. Squeaky. I don't know if he squeaks or not. I, I can't even squeak right now. I probably sound like a broken squeaker box thing. Like one of the aliens or something. What is this? Is a small white rabbit with a deep interest in French culture. Fashioned with a barrette atop a plush pillow, Petit Lapin looks like a delectable macaroon found in his favorite, uh, patisserie. I can't pronounce that, and I probably don't even sound well enough to pronounce it properly, but it is so cute. Look at him. He's so adorable. He looks like he's wearing a little skirt. He's just the cutest. Oh my gosh. The next thing I'm noticing right off the bat is, I'm guessing this is a little keychain. It looks really, really cute. It looks like a bunch of, like, sweet stuff on a little chain. It looks like it's on some kind of like keychain type of deal. I'm actually not quite sure what this is. This might be the decorative food type thing. I'm not entirely sure. Um, it looks like it might be because they're supposed to be a kind of like decorative contest type thing. Uh, DIY cookie type stuff. Wow, I'm so sorry about my voice. Yeah, again, I'm just, it's, it's bad. I'm sorry. Looks like there's another little cookie. Oh, oh wait, wait a minute, this isn't a cookie. Hold on, this, this is not a cookie, hold up. Now, these little booklets, they do actually have like the kind of walkthrough about like what each thing is. Like here's the little petite the pin. There was other colors that we could have gotten as well. There's a pink and a blue. They look so cute. Oh my goodness. What's in your crate? Hello Kitty Strawberry Send Me. It's a rice cracker. They come in various shapes, sizes, and flavors. Um, so it might be okay for me to eat, but like I said, I'm not gonna risk it since I am just almost, almost over the flu. I don't wanna jinx it at all. Um, so, right, so this is what this is. This is a sweet red compact mirror. I thought it looked a little bit strange. Like right off the bat, you can kind of see that it, it, look, it does look convincingly like an actual like snack. Let's see, how, how do we open this? Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, that's so cute. It's literally a little compact mirror. It just looks like a cute little bread thing. It's really squishy. It's like really squishy. It's like uncomfortably squishy. Like, is this, is this a fake? Is this real? I don't know. This is a little keychain. They call it a hope, hop, hop key. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, probably not considering how horrible I sound right now, but um, it's a little donut. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. 
Oh my goodness, and it has like a little snappy thing on it. Hold on, let me just, let me just show you guys how cute this is. Look at the little donut. That is so adorable. It's like a little donut with bangles. Ah! I'm guessing this like attaches to your phone or it just attaches a keychain. It does have this like neat little claspy thing right here. So if you wanted to like unclasp it, I guess, and like put it on something else, you probably could. This is actually really cute though. I like this. Okay, so next thing is next. <gasps> I'm seeing Sailor Moon. Oh my goodness. Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon. Sailor, Sailor, Sailor Moon. Oh my gosh. I can't speak any louder than this. I'm sorry. My voice cracks when I get very, very excited right now, but this is so cute. What is this? Oh my gosh. It's like a little tea set. Cafe sweets. What is this? Sailor Moon Crystal Dessert Blind Box. Oh, we don't know. You won't know what's inside until you open it. What a sweet surprise. Okay, so it looks like, oh my gosh, it looks like Tuxedo Mask and um, Sailor Moon. Okay, so how does this like set up? How do we, <laughs> I'm not entirely sure how we're supposed to, we'll figure it out. Hold on, we shall figure it out. I don't think these are actually edible, are they? Something tells me they aren't. Yeah, I don't think these are like edible food type stuff. Yikes! Mousy versus the packaging. Will she win? Let's find out. It looks like there's other ones for like the other Sailor Scouts. Oh, I love Sailor Moon. Something you guys may not know about me. I love, 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 love Sailor Moon. Okay, so the little rose goes inside of the tuxedo. Tuxedo mask. Okay. Oh, 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 don't fall over. Let's not fall over. It's like their little wedding cake. So there we, oh, there went, there he went, there he went. They both kind of fall. I'm not sure if there's a way to actually get them to like stand up straight. There might be, hold on. Okay, gently, gently, there we go. So while my finger is just in, they just fell over. Okay, so it's just them on top of like a little cake. Um, it looks kind of like their wedding cake. They are way too small for the camera to kind of pick up for the time being. But it's Sailor Moon and Tuxedo Mask. Yeah, they just keep falling over. But it's super duper cute. I love the little... I just love Sailor Moon anything. Let me be real. I'm loving this. This is really... Okay, so the next thing I'm noticing right out of the box are these adorable little ice cream and cake erasers. Oh my gosh. I've always wanted a set of like really cute kawaii uh sweet erasers like these because i've always thought they're like so adorable just like look at them that they're so cute and the cool thing is is i actually have a, a diy creative type video coming up that these kind of could relate to so these are going to go so well with that magicalness and they're just so adorable my favorite right now is this little ice cream right here that is so cute i love this Okay, so the next few things I'm also noticing, also going along with my future DIY, maybe you can start to figure it out here in a moment, but we have these, what is this? Ice cream cone pens. <laughs> oh my goodness, they're ice cream cone pens. Those are so cute, look at them. There's two of them. I'm not particularly fond of the orange one, but the other one is super duper cute. And then the other thing we have right out of the box are these adorable little stickers. I don't know if you can see these all that well, but they're really, really, really cute as well. Um, these are all going to go really well with the DIY video I have coming up for you guys. Um, I want to take these out really quickly and just see how they work. Let me see. Wait, wait, wait. Oh my gosh, they have these little, little keychain type things. Okay, so how does this... Right, so, oh, okay, here we go. So it just, it's just a cap type thing. And that's that. Simple as that. So you guys need cute pens and stuff. Oh yeah, Doki Doki Crate got you, uh, you know, all hooked up. Not sure, like I said, how fond I am of the orange one, but it is still really cute. I think I can live with it. This one's definitely my favorite though. I've never been a fit fond, uh, sorry. I've never been fond of the orange flavor of pretty much everything, but uh, pretend it's mango. We'll pretend it's mango and it will work for me. But oh my gosh, that looks like it's just about it out of the Doki Doki crate. Honestly, so adorable. Um, from what I've seen from the Japan crate so far, which the video for that will be out um, hopefully soon. I have to film the second part of it uh, with um, 
Brit for various reasons. You'll see it when the video comes out. Um, but from what I've seen between the Doki Doki crate and the Japan crate, I am absolutely in love, especially with this Doki Doki crate because this stuff is so cute. I mean, come on. Like, everything is so adorable. Like, look at, look at the whole... This is so cute. This is literally so cute. Definitely a fun thing to open up now that I'm feeling a little bit better um, from the case of the flu. Um, but if you guys want to get your very own Doki Doki crate, um, they, you can get it. The link will be down in the description. Um, I definitely hope to get more of these crates because this is literally some of the cutest stuff. And I, I can use a lot of this too, like in my upcoming stuff. I'm so excited for it. But yeah, link will be down in the description. I hope you guys check it out. Uh, if you do, uh, send me some pictures on Instagram and uh, Twitter and all the kinds of places if you get your own, because uh, I'd love to see which ones you guys get, because it does look like there's a, uh, a randomness between the crates, and some people might get some slightly different stuff. So I definitely want to see what kind of stuff you guys get in your do Doki Doki crate. So I love you guys so, so very much. Thank you for being so patient on my channel. I know I've been quite sick lately, um, and I haven't been able to record any my normal stuff hopefully my voice comes back even more so and uh, everything can get back to normal but like I said I love you guys so so very much I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you guys next time bye